Life is pain sometimes. Turns out that vampires can't regrow their heart. They can repair a lot of things, but they can't fix a broken heart, or in this case, missing heart. Welcome back, everyone. We are gaming by Gaslight, and we're playing some more RimWorld here today. Yeah, gotcha. She lost her heart. Uh, when I did some reading, found out that vampires can't grow their heart. I harvested Matt's heart, but then, get this, turns out we need eight medicine to install a heart. You can, you can remove a heart, no problem, apparently, but you want to put a heart back in, you need eight medicine. No one has eight medicine. And we don't have the, we don't actually have the extra medicine to, uh, you know, maybe... Oh, come on, let me, uh... Uh, what do you need? And it has to be medicine. It can't be, it can't just be herbal medicine. What a, what a, what a ripoff. All right, if I want to be a sadistic son of a gun here, and I do, I could have Matt, or uh, have Morgan, not Matt, have Morgan beat up Matt here. Is he still considered guilty? I should probably check. Uh, I don't think he is, so this is probably going to, but the idea is we beat, we beat up on him a little bit, then we patch him up. Then we beat up on him again. Alright, let's uh, keep an eyeball on this. Oh, he can't die because he's a vampire. Or at least he can't die easily. Yeah, let's, uh, let's be careful not to, you know, kill him too much here. Oh, when did this happen? Oh, Morgan. Just now? I mean, I guess if we had the medicine, we could amputate or remove all his organs. And then he'll just never wake up. Anyway, uh, all right, so then we have Matt. Okay, because, you know, here's the idea. This is this is a cruel and sadistic thing we're doing. I, I recognize that. But we need the medical training. So, you know, uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. And, you know, if he, uh, if he didn't want to end up like this, he shouldn't have attacked my colony. So, you know, get what you deserve or something like that. Ooh, mercy. Also, uh, need ourselves a fair amount of blood. Oh, you know, it actually seems, uh, doesn't take that long to build up medical training. That's, that's nice. That's good. Anyway, we also, uh, I never addressed this last episode, but I, I kind of think this looks cool. Maybe I'll move the, um, I might move the landing pad. I mean, I like the idea of having it close to the uh, orbital trade drop spot, but uh, yeah, which uh, you know, Iris will get around to that at some point. Maybe I'll uh, forbid some of this stuff. Try to you know get the uh, importance. Oh, also, um, there, there's a couple of things that I, I feel like I I haven't really been addressing. Some comments and stuff. Uh, a big one that I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, has come up a couple of times, uh, particularly, again, in uh, some of the more recent videos, is that I really should stop ignoring this, because we could be... It, we Instead of being suckers, like I have been, I shouldn't be saying we, it's me. I'm the one making some of these boneheaded choices. Uh, we could have ourselves a cool, badass uh, mechanoid army. I kind of want to give it to Morgan. You know, give him a peg leg. Uh, again, we have no medicine. And no one who can grow the medicine. Yeah, I'll, uh, have Katja try and harvest a bit of this. We, we really need to get, uh, Katja back. And I should give Morgan at least a peg leg. He's hopping around on one flippin' foot here. Do I dare tear off your entire leg just to <laughs> give you a peg leg? because that'll result in you being slightly happier than if you had uh, just a regular leg, or with the missing toe. There are many uh, temptations to consider here. Do a bit of trading, because you're our next best trader. 
Which, another thing. Here we are, 16 episodes in. Uh, well, we have actually been picking up a couple of points here and there. So, you know, we should, we should do some stuff there. Oh boy. You know, it seems sometimes I just, uh, did I sell some of this stuff? Temptation, to be sure. Also, you know what? Maybe I, maybe I will just, uh, add the quality of life mod, the, uh, meat optimization. Because do we really need, like, 10,000 different meats? Like, is there a... I don't know. Is there an actual gameplay reason for having all these different meats? Let's see here. Nutrition... No, they're even all the same. I mean... No, because if they're all the same, because this is what's used to measure how much stuff you need in order to... Oh, actually, you know what? The only thing this would probably end up uh, messing with is, like, the sacred animal thing. So, alright, I guess, I guess there is probably a gameplay thing. It's not just a quality of life thing to, you know, have fewer random stacks of meat. Tempting. My god, we've got a lot of uh, duck eggs. We got a lot of stuff just piling up here. I'm gonna get rid of some of, some of the things we have in just uh, small amounts just to free up a little bit of space. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the drugs too. Uh, wait, was there medicine? And that's probably that's probably should be the the top priority. We'll hold on to the heart for now. Maybe some beer make people a little happier. Uh, clear out. All these clothes that we don't need anymore. Uh, unless I am blind. Wait, there's a search option. I don't have to worry about being blind. They have no medicine. Okay. Alright, so we got a little bit of money. That's good. Uh, right, the security for friends. Do you, uh, what, what happens? Ooh, a masterwork piano. Cameron. Is Cameron someone we want to join us? Really good at animals. You know, suddenly we're getting a bunch of people who are good at some of these things. Uh, let's see. Six archers, free raids, 24 days. That's a lot of days. Though, if some of these guys... They will not do any work. God damn it. <laughs> if they would do some... If they would at least do medicine. Then, uh, you know. That would be of some benefit to us. Free raids... Six archers, our best, or one of our best, uh, melee people is down. But we have, you know, we have six days to work this out. Katya may be back on her feet by then. You know, I'm kind of tempted to, uh... You know what, I am going to freeze all of this for now. I want Katya to focus on building up our storage thing, because then we can get all this out of here. Don't know what this is going to turn into. Maybe this will be a extra large freezer. Maybe. I mean, we're going to need a larger freezer eventually. Which means I'll probably want to rework this, put a door on this side. Need to replace these walls. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we want to give Morgan a leg. Let's make sure we install it in the right leg. The right leg. Yes. Which happens to be his right leg. I amuse myself sometimes. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. So, we're still focusing on getting a lot of cloth. Eventually we are going to want to change that. Because at some point we're going to need more corn. Wait, are you at four cooking already? No, you're not. Oh no, it's just the single meal I didn't change. Okay. No more meals, because you have very little uh, cooking skill. I don't want to... I want to minimize the risk of horribly, horribly... Should, should I, uh... Like, I, I don't know. You know what? No, I'm going to leave this as it is. In fact... I might actually, uh... And this is 9 by 9 so if I put you here, you, here, yep. wait, 
here. I am melting my brain. We'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know, my brain does not want to... My brain does not want a brain right now. Okay, don't really need that alpaca right now, so... For... There we go. Now, now we're cooking. Okay, you go there. You go there. Alright, there we go. I, I like this, this idea here of uh, centering the landing zone in front of... I mean, I could actually make this bigger, come to think of it, so there's room for more stuff. There's a couple of mods that add, um... I'm just gonna slaughter you. We, we can't afford an alpaca right now. I should get cows. What? No! Wait. Wait, we have regular medicine? And you weren't... <laughs> oh boy. The irony, of course, is that our best doctor is Morgan. All right, well that that's been a bit of a bit of a waste of our time, I guess. But you know, sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. So, not uh, not too much we can wait. We've been mining some of this. All right. I mean, I know that that's kind of something we wanted, but I didn't realize we were actually doing it. Also, I'm I'm glad we're getting some of these walls built up. What are we researching right now? Good, geothermal power. That's the that's the big one. Wanna get ourselves some power. As you can see, we're also going to I figured because I figured having just like a straight line of houses, that was a bit much. Now Something else I should also probably consider doing. I mean, maybe I should actually... Actually, now that I think about it. Uh, uh, what I should do is, like, have this up a bit, you know, because we don't want the streets to be, like... I like symmetry and stuff, but we want a web of, uh, of structures here. feel like a real idiot for not finishing this in time. Oh well. I mean, we were doing it for the, em uh, the Emperor or something, so, you know, screw that guy. Wait, do we really, do we really hate the Emperor? I mean, he's not our friend, but what do they believe in? Let's see. Well, they do believe in slavery, so, you know, F those guys. Could uh, someone go ahead and butcher that? Oh right, butcher is a cooking job, so... Oh, and yeah. Wait, why are you? Oh, peg leg. You know what? We'll unrestrict you. I just, I'm gonna keep Morgan restricted, because I don't want him wandering too far with a peg leg, because then it'll just result in a lot of wasted time. What? Oh god! Oh, it's spring. It's already 18 degrees in here. Quick! Oh god! Oh, and the stench of death. Okay. Okay. Though, this is going to continue to be a problem. Uh, maybe I uh, turn this heater off for a bit. Turn all the heaters off. Maybe even turn off uh, some of this stuff. Oh no, it's actually not active. I don't know why this isn't active while Koch is in it, but, you know, that's a problem. Oh yeah! Oh no, that's right. I was gonna say, why aren't we, uh, having Morgan do his daily medicine practice on Matt here? Oh, and you know what the best part about all this is? Because he's a vampire, uh, as long as, you know, we don't lose more organs, uh, yeah, he should, uh, he should end up uh, regenerating most wounds we cause him. Pretty sadistic, I know, but uh, do what you gotta do. Oh, look at that. Perfectly preserved Cobra corpse just sitting there on my, on my street. Or what will eventually be my street. Uh, you know, I think we, we've got something good going on here with this, like, maze of tunnels. 
or streets. It's gonna be cool. Oh. And Morgan is not in a good mood because he's in intense pain and in a hideous environment full of his own vomit. I don't blame him, quite frankly. Let's, uh, let's maybe clean this up. God, we have so much work to do around here. Feels like, uh, feels like we can never get ahead, which is why, Gaslight, you shouldn't, uh, put off getting that, uh, sweet, sweet mechanoid chunk thingy. Okay, you're researching, you're hauling. Oh, we actually have a bunch of granite still. That's good. I was kind of concerned we were, you know, we didn't have that much. All right, I'll let you finish this, and then I think we'll recruit you for a bit to start punching that war walker. I mean, I should get uh, a Morgan to do it because he is good at punching things. Which, uh, speaking of, Morgan, take out your uh, your rage on Matt here. Damn vampire! You know, I've never actually done that before. The whole like abusing prisoners for medical training. It always just seemed really cruel and unusual as a punishment. But, uh, I, I am feeling quite desperate. So, you know, nah. didn't I say something about wanting to run a moral colony? Pretty sure I said something to that effect at some point. Alright, you can haul your granite. Okay, but let's, uh, maybe I shouldn't be interrupting you now. Alright, let's, uh, keep track of things. Okay, we cut off his ear, shattered his jaw. Removed a leg. You know, maybe maybe I should have you drop your, your sword, uh, Morgan. You're you're doing a little too much damage to this guy. Here, uh, go ahead and drop the pain bringer. And then just continue punching him for a bit. Again, it's not the moral thing to do, but uh Oh, all right. Not that we need that, but you now it's a thing. And the poor guy's got hearing loss, though. Looks like he's healed one ear since he's been here. All right. I think we've we've probably done enough damage to him. And then we will simply tend to him with uh, with no medicine. We'll tend to him by hand. Uh, meanwhile, over here. All right. So let's see what ends up happening here. I don't know how long we're going to have to do this. I don't think we get melee skill for the cyber. That's a shame. Oh, that's another thing as well. By uh, taking pot shots at our prisoners, we also... I think we get medical skill for it? I wasn't paying attention to that part. You know, the big thing is we just want to... We just want to make sure that we get to eight medicines so that we can hopefully uh, heal Katya. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Okay, Iris is getting a little worked up. Which is understandable. We've had her punching all day and she's probably very hungry. Alright. Okay, we're getting there. Almost there, lads. There's 600 more to go. Oh, he's actually learned his max. So, alright. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to you later. We'll beat you some more and get some more skills. You know, I should add simple sidearms. Like, it, it allows you to carry a melee weapon and a gun, which I guess could argue that's more than a quality of life thing. That does actually, uh... But the thing I like about it is that it would also allow us to, without having to drop our weapon like we had to do here earlier, uh, we could just switch to our fists if we want to do some non-lethal punching. Not another mod that's useful. Uh, well, there's probably a couple of mods that do this, but anything that adds like a, a stun baton or something. No, Katja! It is not your job to take care of this guy. Go punch uh, the Exos Drider skeleton. Alright, and then uh, go ahead and tend to Matt. And then, you know, you can. Go recreate yourself. Also, oh, knew there was uh, at least one more thing I wanted to address this episode. I just pointed out that uh, I forgot to move the chest set. 
And there's a couple of other uh, things that I am pretty sure I'm forgetting. I guess I could turn you off as well. Now, we do probably want to make sure we're paying a certain amount of attention to this, because I've never done this before, and like I know that it, it says it, it will explode and stuff, which that that's the bit that scares me, because I don't know when the mech core comes out. How are you getting on? Okay, you're at eight. Good, good. All right, everyone's getting a little, a little upset. Uh, if I keep attacking this, will it explode? I don't want to find out. Like, I don't know if I. Oh god, it's leaking oil. Like, do I have to finish destroy? You know, what? I guess we'll find out. If I screw this up, well, we'll get another chance. So, there it is, the mechanoid transponder. Quick. Okay. Oh god. It can burn. Mechanoid transponder. Gotta just decrypt it. New quest. Alright, we'll uh... Okay. Probably should get some help on this one. Uh, Wolf is useless because, you know, he's a pyromaniac. Okay. Oh, you know what? That actually wasn't so bad. Oh good, and we're uh, also- can I uh, just- yeah, decrypt it like right here. Right here, right now. Okay. Mechanitor ship. We have decrypted an ancient transponder, revealing the location of a mechanoid ship in orbit. The ship is badly damaged, but you can signal it to land nearby. Ship contains the remains of a long dead mechanitor. Mechanitors can create and control mechanoids- uh, excuse me, sir. For work and combat, by extracting the deceased Mechanitor's mech link, you can turn one of your own colonists into a Mechanitor. Beware, the ship also contains hostile mechanoids. The mechanoid group is composed of one Scorcher. Now, that's not so bad. I don't think they can shoot fire at you if you're, like, melee punching it. So, yeah, that's, a, that's a thing. Gotcha. Good at medicine in any way. Uh, yeah, better than Iris at any rate. Right, good. You're still tending to Matt? Oh my god, we I, I beat this man pretty badly. Oh well. I mean, he had it coming, right? Maybe a water mill generator. I mean that's uh you know that's that's how it starts. You know, you justify a few bad deeds and before you know it, you're literally space Hitler. And I don't want to be literally Space Hitler. I'd rather not be any variation of Hitler. Or, frankly, any, uh, you know, bad person who does bad things. <sighs> but sometimes. Now, you know what? I guess having Iris, uh, bone up on her, uh, medical skill would be a good idea as well. Why is it that uh, it seems like Iris is, uh, the one who tends to prioritize these things first. Right, we're missing- damn it, now we're mi missing the medicine. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, what's your problem now? Oh, it's an ugly environment. I get it. I get it. Colonist needs rest- what the hell happened to Matt? How daring, gummit! Oh, there's just... Alright, yeah, you can watch the Eclipse. Maybe we should, uh, you know, haul this sword back in before it rots away. That would be less good. Social relaxation. Not bad, not bad. Uh, five types of recreation. Looks like we only have four, so we should probably start growing our space marijuana. And we can grow it right here. I mean, I did research drug production, so we should be able to you know, make drugs efficiently of the recreational variety. I mean, there's a lot of money in this game in growing or in uh, making the harder drugs, but 
not really, you know, I want to be a good, a good role model for the children. And how can you be a good role model if you're, you know, some kind of drug kingpin? Not the kind of person I think I want to be. But, you know, you know how it is. The rim, the rim makes monsters of us all, I guess. Should I have really made it free by free? I mean, there, there is benefit to having, you know, some main boulevards. So, you know what? I guess I like it. And this can lead down to, like, the front entrance of the colony over here. Jolly good. Oh, oh god. Okay, Morgan's back on his feet. That's good. Oh, another handy thing about simple sidearms is that it, it makes sure that colonists will remember to actually, you know, pick up their their guns again. Uh, Iris, what are you doing? Oh, grow comes after construction, so... You know, we have no passionate growers. That's kind of unfortunate. Let's get this Toxifier Generator, because we've been talking in the past about uh, doing some stuff with that. Yeah. You know, just like we've been talking about maybe doing like some kind of maze thing to try and... Try and make it take just a little longer for enemies to... ...to uh, get through places. Organ harvested. You're mad about, uh, about this? He was a flippin' cannibal. Oh. You're... Where did we get you from? We recruited you from the Empire, or rescued you from the Empire. What? One of these things. Wolf, I thought you were our top cleaner. I'm gonna make you cleaning top priority. I want this colony to be spotless. Anyway, uh, wh where's Morgan right now? You're just... Standing there doing stuff. Uh, try and convert Morgan. Wait, what are our odds of success here? 23%. Alright. Not bad. Alright, and we should, um, we should build a temple somewhere. Probably over here. Which, come to think of it, what do we want our temple to look like? So, we'll have... Hmm. How do I want to do this, actually? Alright, so I think we'll have the street actually... Uh, let's, uh... Mark the floors of this. So, okay, so we'll have, we'll have like a main, main street going through here. Just like we'll, uh, do a little of this. Note to self, we need more sandstone. A lot more sandstone. Okay, so we got we got this. I kind of want to put a like a little uh, thing around here. So but I think it'll be kind of neat. To do something like that, and you know, we'll possibly do some other stuff. Uh, oh my god, is it? This is going to be a bit of a longer episode. I just. Been, I've just been, you know, rambling on. Uh, with our own ideology, what are our sacred relics? Okay, so we got two, uh, two little relics. Uh, three if you count this, but someone's probably going to have it equipped at all time, and that someone's probably gotcha. Though, you know, when I was making our, our ideology, instead of a gladius, I'm pretty sure I could have made it like a Persona weapon or something, and those are stronger, so maybe I should have, you know, done that. Yeah, j just thinking about min-maxing things a little bit here. Alright, so... We have our... We know that the relic chambers are, like, free wide. Okay, this is 11. And I like symmetry, so we're gonna... Have our... 
our thing be relatively large. One, two, three. Okay. Two, three. All right, so we know the reliquary is going to, like, fit in like this somehow. Yeah, a little bit of, a, like, a narrow entrance, I think. Come in. You got the reliquary, which, uh, let's see here. If we go to ideology, reliquary. Uh, obviously, we want it out of marble, the most expensive and thus the most beautiful material. Actually, I almost might as well... You know what? We're going to make it out of slate. Uh, we have no slate. Well, that makes me sad. But, yeah. You know what? We'll wrap this episode up by kind of planning out the, the little temple of idiojustice. Uh, well, you can kind of... I think you can kind of see where we're going with all this. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here, and I will catch up with all you next time. So until the next time... As always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I will see all you in the next video.